Two student athletes uh, closest to me, uh, CJ Fair by Musakita is on the far end there. Uh, welcome to Buffalo, guys. We will, uh, same format for those of you who haven't been here, please raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you. If you could please give your name and uh, your media affiliation before your question, you're allowed one follow up. Uh, and uh, if we we'll go ahead and raise your hands, if you have a question, we'll get a microphone to you. Back here on the left. Yeah, that's for CJ. It's Dom Amori from the Hartford Current. CJ, what is the, the greatest benefit that you got from playing your entire four years uh, at Syracuse for you staying that fourth year? What, what's the biggest benefit to your, your growth and development? Um, I, I would say, you know, maturity, um, you know, being a, coming in as a freshman, you, you, um, you, you don't really know what to expect in college, and, um, and then sometimes it can be, you know, a rude, rude awakening for some players. Um, you know, for me, I wasn't playing that much, and then as time went on, um, you know, I had to, you know, grow up and adjust, and I, I think it made me, made me mature and, uh, you know, a fast way. Right here, we'll go here in the front first, and then in the back. David Wilson from the Daily Orange. Uh, CJ, a lot of times um, when you, you face an opponent in the NCAA tournament, they're not that familiar with the zone. Uh, Western Michigan played against Eastern Michigan, though, who obviously runs a similar zone to you guys. Does that kind of take away some of the advantage that you guys normally have coming into the NCAA tournament, their little added familiarity? Uh, I mean, I don't think so. I, I, I believe probably everyone in this tournament probably played against a team that ran in zone at some point. Um, but, you know, yeah, Eastern Michigan, they, they do run the same style of zone we play, but um, I, I don't think it gives us advantage or a disadvantage, really. Back here, Jerry. I guess for you to play Jerry Sullivan, the Buffalo News. To read about Bayheim, you'd think he never watched film, just roll out the balls. He okay. really simplifies the sport. But, uh, you know, what, what can you tell me about the real genius of Jim Bayheim that sort of gets, you know, underestimated? Jerry, was that directed at either one or either? CJ, why don't you start? All right. Um, I think what's underestimated is Coach Bayheim. I mean, he loves to win, and and uh, he do whatever it takes to win. So, you know, he don't really have favorites as far as players. Is whoever can help him get the win, that's who he's going to play. Bye. Like, like CJ said, you know, he really doesn't have a favorite player. He just want to go out there and just see who can help him win the games. He doesn't really have a favorite. This is my favorite player or not. And he's going to get the chill because he knows he can get better as a player, but he's going to get in. Sometimes he's he going to get a bat, on the bad side of you, but he just wants you to get better. So I think that he's not, he doesn't play favor or nothing. He's just going to coach you and want you to get better. OK, we got a question right down front here. Right here. Yep. Uh, Mike Sealski from the Philadelphia Inquirer. This question is for either one of you guys. Um, if you could describe the difference um, getting to the Final Four last year with Michael Carter-Williams and then having Tyler be the point guard this year, um, how are they, those two players similar? How are they different? You know, if you just kind of compare the way you guys played with each one. You know, Mike was a different point guard. He was a lanky point guard. He's a 6'5", right, as a point guard. And he was able to, you know, hold the and he was a second year so point guard, so he got a little bit. Of, he didn't play a lot his freshman year, but he got you know the experience from Scoop and the other guys, kind of tell him what to do. Tyler is a freshman, so so he's a little bit harder for for him. But I think as a player, they both have a plus and a minus, so which is really different. But you know, as Mike was able to get a lot of steals, as you know Tyler too, get a lot of steals throughout the zone, and he's a really smart point guard too, Tyler. I think his court awareness is great, and he's every time he get the ball, he know exactly where he has to go, which is making a big different, big difference compared, you know, to the other point guards. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think um, they they got two uh, completely different styles of play. Um, you know, uh, Tyler, he, he's he plays at his own pace. He don't. 
he speeds up when he wants to. Uh, but normally he's at his own pace. And, um, and and Mike, he's, you know, he's much more, I say, I think the biggest difference is much more like emotional on the court. Uh, you could tell Mike's like fire and drive that he wants to win. And um, and Tyler, he, I know he wants to win as better as anyone on the team, but he just got, got a different personality, I say. But both of them great point guards. They, uh, they both pass first and, uh, you know, try to get the team involved. Get back um, in the center. Gabe Altieri, WAR in Syracuse. By you guys have a little bit of an athletic advantage against them. Is there a big emphasis at getting out in transition against this Western Michigan team? You know, coming to the game, we're just going to go ahead and play our game, which is, you know, this is going to be a diff different team because, you know, like I say, they everybody we play on this team, on, the, on this tournament, they already play a type of zone. And I was. Best advantage probably if we can get the tradition, we're gonna go ahead and get it every single time. If we can, we're just gonna hold the ball and run our offense. So that's our point, I think. For, for both players, Mark Herman from Newsday in New York. I just wanted to get what impressed you most about this first year in the ACC, and what did you miss the most about the Big East? CJ, you want to start? Um, you know, just just uh, you, you hearing everyone, all the media saying how. You know, you're going from physical Big East basketball to more up and down ACC basketball. But uh, I think the physicality of the ACC was under underestimated or underrated, I should say. Um, you know, you, you got some you got some teams that got similar styles, like Virginia, similar styles as the Pittsburgh, and um, you know, you play against Duke. They they are uh, they more up and down, and um, it's just you, you get a taste of everything in the ACC, not just you know one style and. Uh, I say I would miss the most in the Big East, just the Big East tournament, uh, just playing in the garden. Um, I, I say that's the one thing I would, I really miss. Just like CJ, you know, I would, before we get into ACC, everybody was like, that's a you know, running gun type of play. But like we said, we, we play different teams and they have different type of style of play. You play a team like Boston College, they're going to hold the ball and make you work for it on defense. You play like Duke, you're going to go up and down. So it just, I think that was an underestimate. It, you know, with the ACC, we got to have the opportunity to go do, see different places. But the one thing we all miss is the biggest tournament because, you know, there's a lot. Of, and the rivalry between us and the different school, we were just watching the, you know, the Georgetown game again, us, us and them. So this is just a big rivalry. But now you have to make a new rivalry starting next year, this year. Guys, all the way back to the left here. Andy Young with Time Warner Cable News in Buffalo. CJ, what can you tell me about the experience of getting to the Final Four last year that might help you guys and make another run? Um, just getting to the Final Four last year, knowing how fun it was and the great experience it was, uh, it gives you, give you that much more motivation to try to get back there again. Um, you, we, we know what it takes to get there, and, um, and it's not an easy road, but it, it's fun. So I, I think us having that experience can help us in a way. And as a follow-up to that, what are the differences and similarities you see between this year's team and last year's team? Um, I'd say uh, it's hard. Um, I'd say last year's team, we, we had more um, you know, veterans on the court at, at a time. This year, we got um, we had to regroup. We got more freshmen and sophomores playing uh, minutes. and. Um, and players playing new roles, opposed to last year, everyone know what their uh, you know role is, what position they're gonna play. This year it was a more of a um, you know you gotta bounce around different positions. So I say that was the biggest you know difference.